today uh, we will see AWS EC2 instance. So EC2 basically it uh, stands for Elastic Compute Clouds and SQL Infrastructure as a Service. And uh, yeah, it eliminates you know our needs to invest in a hardware upfront, so we can develop you know and deploy our application faster. So it's mainly uh, consists in the capability of uh, renting virtual machine, EC2 storing data on a virtual drives, EBS, and distributing load across machines and scaling the services using auto scaling group. So now um, we will create you know the EC2 instance. Here you can see in console, uh, EC2 service uh, is there because uh, we I, I recently visited this one. So if we have to search on you know, any services, we can search from here. So let's uh, click on this. In, in dashboard, EC2 dashboard, you can see the instance running at zero. You can see there are three instances are there. Okay, all three instances, don't worry, it's terminated. So here, key pair is zero, dedicated host is zero, scaling is well zero. So elastic IP is also zero. Okay, to create a new instance, uh, just click on these instances. Okay, here you can see all instances terminated. Just click on this launch instances. So first thing is we have to enter our web server name. Uh, uh, my first uh, EC2 uh, instance. Oh, sorry. Just make it like okay. What do? Let's see. Here you can see the OS images. Okay, it's it's for Amazon Linux, Mac OS, Ubuntu, Windows, Red Hat, uh, AWS providing, you know. Uh, so it's for the QG start. You can see here the images, Amazon Linux to AMI. Okay, it's it's free tier. So okay, just click on it. You can see the other images as well. So few of them are free, free tier and few of them are chargeable. So yeah. So whatever you will select here, you can see in the description. So in architecture all. Here uh, you can see uh, it's by default selected 64 bit. Okay. And the instance type is uh, t2.micro. Okay. It's free tier uh, uh, instance type. Okay. If you want to see other instance, instance type you can see from here. Okay. You can search it from here as well. Okay. And uh, if you want to compare, you can compare by well, click on this compare instance type. Here you can see t2.nano, small, medium, and large. The in architecture uh, for uh, you know the few of them is same few of them is different you can see the cpu as well is same and different is 111 and 2228 okay memory is differ okay as for our requirement we have to select this instance type okay and uh, yeah again let okay here uh, key pair uh, this one is used to you know the sql connect to the our instance so whatever instance we will create, okay, to connect securely, we need skip here. Uh, just click on this create new skip here. Just pass this name, EC2 tutorial. Sorry, you can see here, keep your types RSA. It's for encrypted private and public keep here. Okay, and here in private keep uh, file format, you can see .pem and .ppk. .pem, uh, Basically, when you are uh, working on a Linux, you know, the Mac OS or uh, Windows 10, then just select this dot PEM. Uh, uh, if you're working on, you know, the the window less than 10, okay, then go with this dot PPK. If you're working on the Windows 7, 8, then go with this dot PPK. And then click on create keep here. Okay. The last thing we have to see this one in network settings, just keep it like this only. VPC network, subnets. Okay. Here in firewall, uh, firewall basically uh, I would say a security group. Okay, is a set of uh, firewall rules that control the traffic for our instance. Okay, you can see here the create uh, security group. Uh, we will you know the create group uh, with the name this launch featured one. Okay, with the following rules. Uh, by default, it's selected like allow SSS traffic uh, from and it helps us uh, to connect to the instance. Okay. Here you can see, um, you know, from anywhere, okay, uh, can connect uh, to this instance uh, because uh, it's public IP, okay, it's 0.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0 .0. 
so we are not providing any custom ip okay no, not uh, my own ip okay if uh, this one also you can see uh, when you are creating the web server it depends on your requirements it, it can be http or https okay and for now I'll just leave it like this only and here the storage you can see it's 8 gigabytes okay and you can also add a new volume as well okay so in advanced details uh, for now no need to make the changes okay leave it like this only in right it's uh, right inside in summary you can see the number of instances we are creating each one okay software images is this one and uh, virtual server type is t2.micro and five all okay that i told you uh, uh, and in storage you can see the one volume okay eight uh, gigabytes so now click on this launch instance so it will take like 10 to 15 seconds to you know uh, to change it you know uh, to change the state from pending to running as of now it's in pending state so just let's refresh it okay okay keep on taking time hmm, now it's running so what operation we can do just right right click on it okay and uh, you can connect okay in migrate server stop instance reboot instance and terminate instance once uh, you're done with this demo we can terminate the instance here a uh, few details you can see okay this instance id it's it's uh, ip okay in public ip and it's private ip yeah this yeah and that's it uh, for this video or if you want to see other d details you can see from from, uh, from all the types okay uh if you like my video uh, please subscribe my channel uh, thanks thanks for watching okay one more thing i want to tell you like uh, if you want to delete anything suppose you want to you know delete the key pairs just click on it select okay better to delete uh, you know after demo just click on this delete okay and issue to dashboard if you want to delete the group okay just click on this uh, it's default one so you can't delete just uh, select uh, uh, the one that we created just click on it and uh, just click on the actions and delete group security group okay and uh, if you want to terminate uh, the instance just go to the instance select this one right click on it okay also you can do it from here okay not sure manage connect need to check in this somewhere it's so you can you can just right click on it you can uh, terminate from here okay thank you